Well, last night I finished up the uh, reservoir and the bubbler, hooked it up, and um, went down the road with it. And I had the hydrogen set at, a, I think it was set around the pool, 15 amps. And that's, uh, that was about a liter. I'm going to go under that, but what happened last night is um, this uh, air to fuel ratio gauge got pegged over the lean. I couldn't get that out of the lean. The engine light came on. So this morning I went out and uh, I don't know what happened, but I bought a new uh, O2 sensor. And now you can see it's back working. I don't know what really happened to it. <clears throat> but uh, right now you can see it's running in the optimal position at idle and uh, I'm going to turn the controller on here see if you can see this go over this way I'm going to go to, uh, let's see, let me see where it's set at, it's okay, 8 amps, I've moved it back to 8 amps, I'm going to go up and turn it on now, now I'll show you what happens when I turn it on, I'll go back over here, I'm going to turn it on, There it's on. I'm going to exit the menu on number nine. Now it should come on. It's coming up three amps, four amps, five amps. You see how it's going lean? And that's only at eight amps. And that's without the map enhancer on. Uh, be afraid to do that. I've put the map enhancer back on. See how lean it's getting? Jeez. I'll shut it back off. And I'm gonna shut the hydrogen back off now. That's off. I'm gonna exit the menu. You see the change when I add the hydrogen, so yeah, most of you guys are going to have to watch this. It's pretty dangerous when you're running a lot of hydrogen there. Uh, like I said last night, it went lean. I don't know if I blew out the O2 sensor or whatever, but it's kind of back to normal now, so I'll go back to testing, but I just wanted to show you that. It's Daryl's fault. Talk to you guys later. Bye.